If a yardstick were to shrink to just 30 inches, it would take 120 yards to cover the distance between end zones on a football field, where it previously only took 100 yards. The field is not larger, the yardstick is smaller. This is precisely what we have observed over the last several years with inflation. Products and services are not worth more. The dollar is worth less. That fact is just as true for food as it is for everything else. Nevertheless, people, particularly in the public sector, continue to create scapegoats for inflation, blaming anyone and anything except profligate government spending. Businesses are a prime target in this regard, with claims of corporate greed and so-called price gouging being rife in the current political environment. However, these claims are negated by empirical evidence. First, the idea that food price inflation is caused by corporate greed does not even pass the smell test. No one can explain why, beginning in January 2021, corporations suddenly became greedier than at any point in the prior 40 years. 